Yeah, there's a new rule in the Twitch partner, or the Twitch, uh, agreement, where you're just not allowed to subscribe to Funk. It's in little text. You have to kind of squint to read it, but it's true. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't... They didn't, they didn't email me about it, but no one's allowed to subscribe to me. So I, I'll just, I'll live with it. Hey everyone, Sekiro's out. I didn't get a big wig reviewer copy, sadly. So. <laughs> Playing a day of release like a fucking plebeian, but you know what? I think I can enjoy it. Technically, I went out to the midnight release yesterday because my roommate wanted to get... If you pre-ordered the game on console, you got like a little... Bit, I don't, I don't even know what it was. It was like a tiny miniature sword on a on a rack. And my roommate, were, he needed me to pre-order it for him because he was at work. So I ended up going there. And the lady at the GameStop was wearing one of those Japanese masks. It had like fangs and a, a tongue that was wet on it. I tried not to make eye contact. But I did not play any. Uh, he got his copy and played it on my PS4, but I didn't watch. I want to oh, go into it fresh. Miss you, Daddy. you proud of that one? You're probably not. Thanks, though. Peeping. Tim. Here's a tip. If you jump, you won't gain IV frames. Did you get IV frames for jumping in Dark Souls? Or do you mean like a... like? this game's jump like the grapple i haven't even played it yet okay like let me let me play it before i start getting bombarded with tips all right i i'm more or less going into this blind for those curious i haven't played any i've saw a little bit of iron pineapples video where he uploaded like the three hours of gameplay he got to do but i didn't watch the full thing i just kind of got an idea death count so far thankfully no you know, all this needs is an old dude playing a didgeridoo in front of a big screen. I wish that were me. I feel like if you showed me this five years ago before I started watching anime, this would be a lot weirder. But now it's pretty expected. Who am I kidding? I was watching anime five years ago. Never mind. I sure hope I'm not live on YouTube right now, because that would be a breach of my partner contract, and I'm not allowed to be live on YouTube right now. Good thing I'm not. そして戦場で拾われた狼は修行の末熟達の忍びとなった
忍びの掟は忘れまいや。Yeah, I've heard the warnings that this isn't a Dark Souls game. I'm not going into it. Like it is one. I was thinking of tying my hair back and doing webcam for this stream, but I made the executive decision not to. I think it was the right call. Yeah, that seems about as fulfilling of a visual as the average Dark Souls cinematic is. Pretty. I don't even have anything to tie it back with. Oh,神の忍びは全てを失っていた。育ての義父も守るべきあるじも。I mean, I guess chat's usually a bit slower. It's not like particularly different right now. Shinobio, nezamete kudasai. Anata no aruji no tame ni. I read chat constantly. I just don't want to talk over the Japanese. I'm gonna speed run it. Go, go, go. What's the run button? I probably should pick that up. Ornamental letter, a letter thrown into a well. Kuro's wolf, your destiny awaits at the moon view tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Yeah, I took in most of that. Looks like a DMC4 cutscene. You mean like in cinematography or just in quality? Because, I mean, once you get past three, you're kind of at the age where video games just look good. Although I'd say DMC5 blew four out of the fucking water visually. But like at some point with video games saying, wow, this reminds me of X, doesn't mean that much. If they're going for realism, you know what I mean? I know this is backtracking, I just wanted to look around. I didn't even think about patches. <laughs> I'll be on the lookout. Beta run? It's, that's not really... I can't get him to do more than like a hurried hustle. I can't really run. It's not... Oh. Reminds me of the messenger, but 3D. It's a bit of a stretch, buddy. A bit of a stretch. This reminds me of Wind Waker because you can walk across edges with your back to the wall. Advance without being seen by crouching in bushes or moving under floors. You don't have a sword at the moment. Use stealth to avoid enemies. If you're about to be seen, warning markers appear above heads. <laughs> Wow, I'm gonna suck at this game. I'm gonna try and police myself this time. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay. It's a good start. I'm just gonna let myself in. The door doesn't open. There's no long cutscene of opening the door. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Where's the cloak? 
Where's my cloak and dagger? There's more of them. Fuck! I still can't run, by the way. I'm just gonna, like, hide right here. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna do it, like, GTA style. Just wait 20 seconds. Hey, everyone. I, I'm, I'm hearing the indicators. It's just... Am I good? Jeez. Please. I ain't dead yet. I'm just maybe a little over my head. This is bringing me back to the Tomb Raider tutorial. But I want to do a little better than I did on that. For those that have experience with this, just give me a percentage. Don't go in detail. How comparable would you say this is to the Soulsborne series gameplay wise? Like 30%? 100? Really? There's no way it's 100. Japanese percent. Thank you. I'm getting like every number in the alphabet here, so. Thanks for none of the help, guys. His sword is what you get for the pre-order, by the way. Not worth it. Now you can run because you own a sword. Makes sense to me. Just like the running shoes. Alright, so I should probably test it, right? Can I not use it indoors? Because I was about to, to wreck this place. Fine. Keep your heirlooms. How long until you think Japanese culture style homes becomes popular in America? Like, we're going through like a redneck phase, right? Where all the hipsters are trying to like wear camo and stuff how long until we have the beds on the floor and everything's made of wood i'm counting the days man i'm waiting for it <laughs> yes okay okay I, I keep fucking walking away never what do you mean never i'm calling it now and like the next 10 years there's going to be a surge of japanese culture in america i mean there already is but for the generous only. I'm talking about mainstream, you know? Is there by chance a way to flip this into English? Not to disrespect the source material, just... I prefer dubs over subs. Okay. Where would that be? Dual audio? Don't tell me I have to, like, leave to the main menu. I might have to. It would make sense, because you have to, like, reload everything. Uh, I want to try that real quick. You underestimate how annoying reading is. I'm serious, man. Have you ever gone, like, after- I've binged, like, dubbed anime, and I can't fucking watch sub anymore, because you can't pay attention to the visuals. You have to fucking sit there reading.
language English setup. Setups are better, dude. I'm just saying. Yeah, it was in the main menu. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that can take us out of the castle. Find the secret passage beneath the moat bridge so that we may escape Ashina Castle. When you've reached it, give the signal. I'll come as soon as I hear the reed whistle. Fun fact, a lot of video games have huge file sizes because of the audio. Audio files take up so much space. And for this game to have a default Japan- Oh, I'm sorry. That would- to have a default Japanese oh, do not, you must and English, it's probably like twice the file size it has to be. I There's have been on Reddit. Passage beneath the okay, okay, I'll go back the fucking way I came. Oh, that's fine. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, I'm gonna do a Breath of the Wild. I'm gonna cut the tree down and then walk across it. Second plan, I'm gonna just jump. Oh. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Hey. Can I throw my sword? Whoa, whoa, whoa! You need to heal? Ah, that makes sense. It's a good thing he just gave up and walked away while looking at me, otherwise I might be in trouble. He like called his buddies? I don't want to admit defeat and talk to her again, but I don't know how to heal. How do I heal, lady? There's a secret passage beneath the moat. Find the secret passage. When you've reached it, I'll come as soon as I. That doesn't help. I already know that I got to get under the bridge. Nice new mascot, dude. It's been like ten months. Are we really still doing the nice new mascot comments? I read literally everything in the tutorial. I'm just... I'm really good at reading comprehension. Oh, you know what it was? I opened the menu to change the language. And that's why I skipped over, a, like, a single window. That's what fucked me up. Uh, I have no more. Nice new mascot, Funk. Smiley face. Where'd it come from? I fucking put this sword away. I... Okay. So, it's parrying. I'm trying to fucking put the sword away. This... I guess I'll just use it. If they come here. I, oh, this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Fuck. I don't... I'm trying to, like, practice it, but I can't exactly afford to get hit again. And I don't want that first off. Yeah, I'm going under the bridge. What bridge am I going under? 
<laughs> this is supposed to be a stealth game. Uh huh. Any of you gents got a healing gourd you could spare? No. What do you think is the chance I can get out of this predicament by spamming? I had at least a 90% chance of that working. If I had accounted for that, dude. Maybe I should, uh, try to stealth this one. How do I put this sword away? He keeps so preemptively pulling this shit out. It never told me how to sheathe it. Does it even matter if it's sheathed? It doesn't seem like it slows me down. Doesn't matter. Okay. Been playing too much Apex. I got a tendency of wanting to put my weapon away. Fuck, how do I get up without alerting them? I gotta jump here. What do you want me to do? Whatever. I'm outie. Spamming don't work on samurais. Good to know. The door you were just at. Do I have to open it from the front? I was looking for a bridge. I don't know if I can backstep. Good enough. This is all because I fucking forgot to use my gourd, which... There we go. You're providing the gameplay we deserve. Holy shit, dude. It's almost like I'm playing the tutorial of the game. Chill. Have you ever fought the first boss of Dark Souls 3? The tutorial is not the easiest part. I'm not saying it's supposed to be hard. Just saying. Okay. Oh. It seems like... What is it? The, the finisher attacks are a bit easier in this than Dark Souls. Like, with Dark Souls, you have to... I mean, it's just the tutorials, huh? Like, I can just spam, and if they drop their guard, I kill them. I don't have to aim for the back or anything. I think these dudes are going to be a bit more trouble. Is there a roll? Fucking hell. The first boss in Dark Souls 3 isn't easy unless you know how to parry. If you know how to parry, it's the easiest shit in the world. But that's the entire point of a tutorial. Because someone that hasn't played a Dark Souls game isn't gonna fucking know how to parry.
Dude, baking a filet mignon is so fucking easy. You brainlet. Yeah, I've never done it before though. more retreat <laughs> later bitches yeah I parkoured in middle school what of it So just attack again after deflecting. Wait. That didn't deflect. Ah. I feel like the game's tempting me. Like it wants me to try and get over there. Hey buds. I'm supposed to have like a firebomb to throw right now. This uh this might take a while. You know what? I'm gonna do my own thing. In that conundrum where I don't want to overcommit to a path and end up having to continue it. But I don't really know where else to go. I finished Dark Souls 3 plus some DLC. Call the Divine Air with the Reed Whistle? Not yet. I finished Dark Souls 1 Remastered. I played maybe just a little under half of Bloodborne which I still plan to finish one day but it'll probably be off stream and I'm not touched Dark Souls 2 okay I can't go up there whatever I actually saw listings for us at a what is it the Jordan Peele movie and it looked interesting I mean I really liked Get Out I don't know how Comparable it is to that, but I've seen thriller and horror thrown around, so definitely up my alley. Wolf, you found it. I think I'll probably see it. Now let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. I feel like in two months or however long, it's a year after the avatar change. I should just change it back. To run from the <laughs> and then people will be the double pissed. Answer. Thanks for all the support, guys, but I've decided to retire Bami and go back to Toon Link. Also, I'm gonna start making surf commentaries. Probably. See what's Where up. Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? 
I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord? <laughs> oh, nothing. Need money? I was just reminiscing. Onward, then. Are you a pessimist? I'm more of a... Uranist. The Divine Air. I didn't get a bonfire. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Lord Genichiro. I... I'll see if I can get Bami and Tulink on death battle. I'll pull some strings. Thank you. Leave this to me. I feel like the pan flute's a little overplayed for samurais. I know that it's fitting thematically, but like, yeah, get, get some more bass in there. You face Ichiro Ashina. Oh, oh, we're just starting. That's good to know. more receptive than most Dark Souls bosses, I'll give him that. Is that all the shinobi has to offer? The divine heir will be coming with me. I use that arm. Seems like most of this story could have been avoided just by not fighting him in the first place. Listen, Shinobi, I love lying in a field staring at the stars as much as anyone else, but you're upside down. You're doing it wrong, buddy. You're supposed to look upwards. Is that missing geometry? Oh, it's a rake. Or, hey. Bro, look at the clipping on his scarf. They call this triple A. It's going this? right through his arm. SMH. So you're awake. Looks like death is not your fate, just yet. This game reminds me of the time me and my brother used sticks to fight in the woods and he hit me in the face and I started crying. Slowly restores fatality. And a pill case would serve as a battle charm. Okay. So I'm gonna assume this is the bonfire of this game then. Is there actually a run or sprint button? Cause I'm I'm not getting anything. Light coin purse? No thanks, I already have one. Should I rest? I've not played Onimusha Warriors. 
but I watched uh, I I Puffy Ami Yumi. Is that good enough? That sucks. It wasn't that bad. Ay, ay, Puffy Yami Yumi. They had a good theme song. Plus, they made the Teen Titans theme song. The good one, not the other one. Though technically they made the original of that remix. can't bad joke me for making banter. Banter is not joking. It, there, significant difference. Also, it's not anime because it aired in America. It wasn't a Japanese animation. Idiots. Though it was very weeby. <laughs> Silence, Weeaboo. Acquiring enemy loot. I was thinking recently, what's the name of that Decepticon from Transformers, the main dude? We should start a petition to get him to say Silence Liberal. I feel like he, he would do it well. Megatron. I want to hear Megatron say Silence Liberal. With like the effects and all. Silence Liberal. Optimus Prime would never say that. Optimus Prime would never do this. I'm crying. I'm shaking. I think Optimus Prime would be about that Green New Deal, you know? Fuck, he attacked really fast. Two. That's two. The <laughs> liberals roll out. Loyal wolf, take my blood. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, I can resurrect. Bug it. Safety roll can be used to quickly recover when posture broken or knocked, A or B. Okay, so you can roll, but it's only in reaction to being hit. Oh, from being knocked down? Or posture broken, okay. So you get one charge by resting. Killing enemies also restores more. And it becomes unusable after using it. Okay. I'm just trying to read here, fellas. I don't want to get stuck in a loop of not knowing what to do. The best porn genre? Well, if you look at it mathematically, chicks with dicks is the least gay porn. So... Oh, hey, Fido. It's only a single girl with a dick. One of them doesn't have a dick. The whole science to it. No, it didn't grab me! I hit the deflect button and not the grapple. It would be gay for girls, would it not? Girls can't be gay. Joking. 
Girls don't watch porn. Are there specific things that you can grapple onto that you have to look out for? Or is it just like any corners? Because like I can't grapple up there, but I can grapple on some of these other roofs. I'm a little confused. You can't grapple while in the air unless you've already grappled. I'm just trying to like get a feel for the rules here. Well, I know if it's marked, it's just like some things that I figure would be marked aren't marked. Also, that's marked, but I, you have to... Okay, it has to turn green. Some enemies use unguardable perilous attacks signified with a danger symbol. When these occur, watch carefully and try to respond as each type requires a specific response. Oh, so quick time events. LB as thrust lands deflect. What? Put me in this situation. I don't. The, seeing this on text doesn't tell me anything. Correction, it does. I just. My baby brain doesn't understand. Okay, so you can grapple in there, but you have to be in range. Feels too open. I don't know where to go. I'm trying to like attack him by falling on him. It's too slippery. Wyoming is not real. Okay. Oh, wait, don't kill her. Is that you, Inosuke? My son. Have you seen the young master? to say. Does your stomach hurt or something? You always had a weak stomach. <laughs> well, anyway, take this bell. It's a charm I made with the young master in mind. Music is weird, really dramatic. For his sake. I gotta get used to the fact that you can't roll out of safety. Because it's so... I'm so used to just using rolls to get out of everything. What? I wasn't... Okay. Perilous attacks are just yellow attacks from Revengeance. Okay. That, that, that makes sense. <laughs> Fuck. I got cheeky. I have one resurrection, I think. I'm gonna try and be a bit more stealthy going forward. So, first impressions, I really like the grapple mechanic. I've always wanted to be able to play Dark Souls with a bit more verticality. And this is pretty much exactly kind of what I was thinking. I mean, it's not so vertical as like, you know, running on walls or anything, I don't think. But it feels nice. I kind of wish the grapple was a bit more free roaming. Like, it wasn't just specific things but I get why I think it'll grow on me once I get used to it really
Also, I feel like if I could, if I could have some higher FOV, I don't think I can. Or move it back a little bit. Because I feel so confined. I can't. I, yeah, the, the, these words mean fucking nothing to me. I don't know what a shinobi sculptor is. This? What this? Oh, this, this is sculptor's idol. Do I have like a quest log? I got like a, a bell. I can't tell how closely tied it is to how Dark Souls does it where you're just clearing areas. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something, but I also feel like the game wants me to do what I want. I'm kind of just confused. Like, why can't I grapple anything on that ledge? That's kind of the part of the, the limited grapple that confuses me. I can't get up there just because the game doesn't want me to get up there. That seems weird. Also, it just keeps grappling some random ones. I was wondering, would you mind gifting me a one-tier sub for this month? You're asking for a gifted sub. I mean, I got nothing against it, it's just... If I'm gifting subs to anyone that wants it, it's gonna burn a hole in my pocket. I ain't exactly a full-time streamer capable of dropping 200 bucks on gifted subs, you know? Oops, sorry. Oh. I think half of the chat's already a sub, so like... Probably could. But I probably won't. Oh, it's half of skill experience and sin are lost upon death, but there's a way to avoid this through unseen aid of gods. One may be spared. The chances of receiving it can be seen. Is that random? RNG? Okay. Need money? Thanks, one win. Calamari. Just can't grapple the big house. Is there like a general rule with what's usually grapplable? Like I know trees and corners of houses are, but I guess these houses aren't. I need to look out for a certain geometry. I hope there's an upgrade for longer grapple length. I could have a lot of fun with it. No 
where the hell I am. What? I feel like this game would benefit from a mini-map. Like, if they're gonna have you in these open areas... Like, with Dark Souls, it makes sense. You're always on the ground. And you're backtracking, but it's all one dimension. But here, there's multiple dimensions of movement. And I'm new to the game already. I know I'm like at the start of it. Two whole dimensions of movement. Not even two, three. I get what someone was saying now, that you don't get iframes for jumping. Because it's really easy to try and jump out of attacks, but it never works. Dark Souls generally had two planes of movement. Forward and sideways. There were, like, multiple dimensions. But really, the only time you were ever in the air... ...was, like, a falling attack that was straight down. Like, more or less, you were never really doing this, you know? There's never none of this in Dark Souls. Yeah, it's like, you were basically traveling in between, uh, like, other horizontal dimensions, but there was never any mid-air play. Whereas this game, its entire gimmick is mid-air play. And stealth. Oh fuck. I saw the icon. There was a jump in Dark Souls, but it wasn't like a a jump jump. Oh I did it with a The jump in Dark Souls was either used for cheesing edges or like I don't know, other dumb shit. Oh wait, this is the dude. I didn't even... It's the mini-boss. I'm out. Am I out? I think I can take him. No, I can't take him. I can't take him. Ring City DLC wants a word. I can't remember if I played Ring City. I played the... The first DLC. I'm not saying there was no vertical plane. It's just, it was always sort of like... Second fiddle to the actual fighting. Never integral. better. Game's loud. I'm glad it only took 40 minutes for someone to tell me. I do. Yeah. 
Oh, fucking great is more of them. But what's like the... The best dodge mechanic? I guess that... I still don't know what to do with that button. It said there were like three options. Do I just use any of them? Or is there a specific... Fuck. Bit off more than I could chew. Is it too quiet now? Ah, uh, everything respawns. Ah. Okay, I guess I just won't grapple that, because the game decided I wouldn't. Just trying to gauge the distance on jump kills. That's... I definitely stretched that as far as I could. Fuck. I gotta do that more. I've just been deflecting. I gotta, like, do it at the right time. You know, like... Looks like I can pick something up. But can't interact with it. Okay. Guess I just won't get that item. Seems kind of unnecessary. Like, the entire purpose of the X button is just... T ...to suck everything in with wind. Okay. Why not just have it automated? So is this hand like a robot hand? Is there fleshy parts in that? Trying to take my time and kill everyone in the area because I really want to look around, but I just cannot afford to waste my time on that right now. Until I know they're all dead. I tried to turn too fast. Okay. Uh. Probably should have read that.
I don't know like how fast I can move before I'm really alerting them, so I'm oh. It's about that fast. Can't grapple that, but I can grapple the tree. Sure. Weird. The body's moved. I think everything's mostly dead. I gotta move forward now. backwards. No, it's forward. Oh shit, you can kick in the air. Nice. Not my most stealthy attack, but it works. I have not observed any differences in reward for playing stealthily as opposed to just rushing at them. I think the reward for playing stealthily is that the game is easier. And that's it. You truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me. I feel like players breaking the game safety, is part of the fun. I cannot reveal his identity. I can However, see why the grapple points are gave curated to assist so that the game plays fluidly. But as a player, it just feels I'm like you're limiting you me. Trust me. However, like you're going, I no, you're too dumb to make your own decisions. Orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, These are your choices. That was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor. And I will assist you in that capacity. I don't feel like stealth is inherently a challenge. The challenge isn't that it's difficult to be stealthy. The challenge is that it takes patience. And you a lot of this gamers don't yes. have patience. It was intended for Lord It's not Kirk, hard to do. It seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, like she's saying, goat seed with an right. accent. I'd like to make a. What is it? Please show me your face. What? Hmm. Hmm. This white mark. Is it a birthmark? No. Then. That must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps, it's a symptom. Hmm. Are you done? Yes, that will be all. I'm sorry. That was rather rude of me. You're a symptom. 
a symptom of my limerence. Did I hear the ringing of a hey -o, chime? I'm so it was alone. probably this bell. I was told to offer it to Buddha. Does the bell hold any significance for you? If it does, talk to the sculptor. He is quite knowledgeable when it comes to Buddha. I don't know who the fucking sculptor is, but I'll chat with him. The challenge in stealth play is the memorizing of layouts, where you can hide and yes, patience, that's why it's kind of fun. I'm not making fun of stealth. I'm not, like, rag ragging on it. I'm just saying stealth is not inherently difficult to play as a player. It's just patience. Mm. The actual act of it seen you before. is easy. Your name? <sighs> oh my god. Won't tell me. Five eleven versus six a foot. Skilled shinobi, a shinobi. Or perhaps... I know it's not him. I'm just talking mm. to people. Sir, please Curious. heed my humble request. Face me in battle. <sighs> oh, I guess we're doing this now. Good fight. <laughs> Damn. Still alive. That swordsmanship. It was a thing to behold. Few have managed to kill me in such a thorough manner. I'm not looking for the sculptor. I'm dying. Others looking around. Infested. I can't die, so I just am. How about you? What brings you to a rundown temple like this? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you have a lot on your mind. Say, why don't you use me for some sword practice? Might come in handy for whatever your Need money? mission is. More body that can't die or might be useful to you. I volunteer mine. This guy no. fights as good as he did that first time. He probably isn't going to be Very too great well. of practice. They say swinging one sword is a cure for boredom. Thanks, monkey. Come back whenever you like. If you have techniques to try out, I'm at your disposal. Is he a tutorial for basic training, or does he actually like unlock new stuff? Because. I'm getting the vibe that I should have talked to him before I did the first level. And now it's kind of redundant. Punching bag? Alright. What do you call yourself? Your eyes. The eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. My left arm. What did you do to me? That is what I call the shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a Technically the mouth isn't moving, just the useless. jaw. The when lips are stationary. Buddha, though, you can have it. Shinobi prosthetic. It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. His mouth moves this at like an angle and it's eyes. weirding me out. You catch on quick. Look if how bring me it, turn, it moves like left and right, just I'll a tiny a bit. To fit Who talks the like that? Prosthetic. Then you'll come to appreciate its worth. <laughs> I've said too much. Go now. Why am I here? All I did was drag you here. Didn't even know if I was dragging a corpse. You are the ashen one. You get eaten. It is your I duty wild to dogs. rekindle the flame. How long was I asleep? <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. I see. However, your master yet lives. He's being held prisoner in Ashina I'm getting Castle. some like depressed Iro vibes from him. Of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. What did you mean when you said they'll make use of his bloodline? I don't know much about him, except the dragon's heritage. 
There is a special kind of blood by that name, and that blood runs through your master's veins. So the divine heir. Someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. These fuckers never shut up. You're quite the strange one. Yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. I was always more of a Greek mythology kind of dude. Maybe even a little Roman here or there. Chinese mythology. I watched, uh... What's the name of it? The American Dragon. He's gonna stop his enemies with his awesome power. Does that count? Jake Long. Jake Long. Shit, which one was it? I, I don't know if I count Jake Long. I watched Shaolin Showdown. Does that count? I don't think there's really any mythology there. I would say I like the idea of Chinese mythology, but I've never been one to like binge existing documents on it. Like being introduced to it is cool. But I, I never searched out for it, you know? There was a cute girl in it. Yeah, there was also a... Redneck. Well, that's not where I was supposed to go. What about that one? Oh, wait, is it? And I just went the wrong way? Is it? So confused. Okay, I was looking for the bridge, but I can't get to the bridge from here. That's where I'm supposed to go, right? No? I don't want to go back. I'm going to have to kill everyone again if I go backwards. Is that an opening? A ca it looks like a cave. Coming through. Boost attack power. Reduces fatality damage. Ceramic shards I should hold on to. Don't know. Oh. Distraction. Okay. With this being a stealth game, I think using items would probably be long-term beneficial. Try to learn it early. You know, they tried to... Actually, I think they did reboot Challenge Showdown, but it wasn't as good. I never watched the reboot. I never really quite grasped what I liked about the original. I don't even really remember the original. Shaolin Showdown was like a fever dream. You know like Kappa Mikey where you remember it existed, but you didn't... You didn't really like hold on to the memories of it. I remember Shaolin Showdown. There was like a bunch of... Relics? There was like... There was like... Seven... Shaolin relics or whatever. And the evil dude was kind of funny, but that's all I remember. Chen Gong Wu. Yeah. It was a weird show. Put it that way. Dude, when do you think we'll see the research of 2000s cartoons? We're going through the 90s and 80s research right now. But when are we going to get a... 
Ed and Eddie too. Five years? I think that's a little too early. It's gonna be at least like eight. I did watch the Jackie Chan cartoon. It's good. It's a weird dynamic. You had like there was like the kid. Powerpuff Girls was that was kind of riding the line of 90s though. Like that was that was like 99. So that I mean, I would still personally say Powerpuff Girls was a 2000s cartoon, but I think some millennials took that in. Do I really want not to die? I can go grab those. Well, they're never going to reboot Ed and Eddie. The creator straight up said that he won't allow it. And I'm fine with that. I was just using it as an example. <coughs> Somewhere I painted... Oh, you know what? Technically, this is my first death. Because I, I resurrected all the rest of them. Deaths won. The more one with the power of the dragon heritage dies, the more a sickness known as dragon rot spreads through the world. If one known, the wolf is coughing and wheezing, it's likely- Oh shit, really? So the more I die with, the more sick my friends get? That's messed up. That is psychotic from. Alright. None of this explains where the hell I'm supposed to be going, but I'll figure it out. So you're telling me... ...that I'm a burden on my friends that just makes their lives worse with every failure? So, not much different from real life, then. Come in. What? Nice. Nice. Cool. Probably. Thanks. I'm streaming right now, so. Sorry. Yes, I am. No. Yeah, right here. What? Yeah, I, I figured as much. I'm just. I've, I've run through here already. I'm just trying to figure it out. Figure. I'm not really looking to socialize right now. Okay, bro. Sorry. I've been through here. Never mind. I was gonna jump up there and then kill him. Oh, that's good to know. This <laughs> explosive. Probably use these items. Use gun weeb. You know, it'd be nice if maybe the AI would be a bit more reactive than standing there. This is definitely where I need to be going.
Oh fuck. Oh fuck. That, how does that count? There's four tons of stone between us. How do you okay? How did you even see that? Okay, I can accept the first one because of splash damage, but enemies always like forget after resurrection. He was just ready for me. And I don't remember where he was, so. I have to do some rerouting here. Good hit. Good hit, buddy. I keep getting weird. I was trying to sprint for like the first 30 minutes of the game and it was never responsive. But it's working now. I know it's downhill. So that's all I know. Honestly, sprinting doesn't even help right now, because... Unless I know where the hell I'm going. Running faster isn't going to help me get there faster, you know? Because I don't know where to run. I kind of want to kill this dude, though. Fuck. I never thought about it until now, but there's not a stamina system in this game. Which is a good thing. Actually, is there? It doesn't look like there is. Jeez. I don't think the yellow bar is stamina. I think that's like... Well, I guess... That's like strength, but I mean stamina for like how often you can swing. trying to spam my deflect. No, this ain't over. The bar is posture. Wait, he's full health again? He doesn't- he can't die? They don't get sicker when you resurrect. They only get sicker when you fully die. Oh, wait. That's what the red bars are. Those are lives. I didn't understand. I saw the red bars. They're dots, but I didn't know what they were. They're lives. Weird. I guess that's a better system than actually giving them two bars. But yeah, I, I didn't know that. Now they're sicker, I think. Well, they're running a little late. When you resurrect, they're sick, not dying flat out. What? Then why did it only tell me that when I actually died? I resurrected like eight times before it told me that they get sick. Doesn't make sense. I ain't about that stealth life, man. This isn't the right place. I need... There. Oh, 
I wasn't focused on him. I couldn't do the special attack. I just wanted to see what the pocket sand did. Oh. There's too much going on right now. I'm, I gotta get out of here. I can't tell where the hell I am. How does that work? It's AI. I saw a lot of people talking about how, like, the combat in this is really, like, like, takes, it's like a learning curve. But the combat doesn't seem that difficult to get to grass. I get the combat. It's, it's the stealth and the navigation that are really fucking me up. Really just the navigation. It's all about patience, man. Uh, what, which one, uh... That one. No, that's... Whatever. I was trying to distract him. I'm not saying the... Combat doesn't get more complex. It's just... Right now, I... I'm surprised I didn't hear more people talking about, like... The complexity of navigation. You are... Juggling way more information in this than you do a Dark Souls game. A Dark Souls game is really easy to memorize the layout of. It's like, alright, this connects to this, and this connects to this. But with this, it's like, well, am I gonna grapple to get there? Am I gonna take the path? Am I gonna take a shortcut? Some things you can't grapple, so you can't rely on them for shortcuts. If you're going to stealth, then what corners are you going to hide in? There's just, there's just a lot more on my plate, I feel like. Not a negative thing, just observation. Why can I not grapple up there? I could grapple up there before. What's different now? A different specific angle. Oh, I didn't know he saw me. What does the shard do? It draws their attention. This dude is staying aggroed. Okay. Oh, what, what the hell? I didn't... <laughs> oh, I guess you're here. Oh, 
Do you have to do it in front of the door? I don't want to get shot. All right, I'm not a I'm not a fan of the enemies just standing with their guard up, not attacking. Like I don't. I'm, yeah, that works. Hey, thanks, big guy in the sky. Making my life easier. Trying to draw them out one by one. This dude's got his AirPods in. Oh man, I lost my chance. Oh, I didn't know he could hit that angle. I thought I was safe. Tell me he doesn't still know. He does. Oh. It's weird how the descriptions when you first pick up an item are different from when you look in the menu. Like, you'd figure it would be a lot more useful. I guess it's not an item. Well, at least I'm done with this area. Heals poison. I heard the bonfires are a lot more scarce in this as well, which is why you have to be especially cautious. I don't think changing the art style of Titanfall 2 is the the big necessity. I mean, I like Team Fortress's art style, but it's not like Titanfall has to adapt it. You know? I'm fine with the aesthetic they already have. I think it would be a bit more iconic if it was more stylized. I feel like Titanfall 2 suffered a little bit too much from same face syndrome. You know, you look at Titanfall 2 and you think, alright, so... Infinite Warfare. So, I mean, I guess, yeah, an art style would help. It would give it a bit more of its own identity. What do I use all these coins for? I, mean, I figure I use them for upgrading, but I have not done any of that yet. I don't know how. Fun fact, pausing actually par pauses the game, unlike other Soulsborns. That hadn't even crossed my mind, but you're right. Have you seen the sculptor lately? Actually, there isn't even I know leveling is in this game, is there? That the dragon's heritage I haven't noticed any. Repeat. Is he for is there I do not know. Whatever. I am unsure. Thank you. I have none. Goodbye. I found I should Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm. Was a fang, but by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, break them into splinters. Swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more work. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. Hmm. See, mm. the more I give it he Pull a shuriken, load it into the wheel, and launch it at a target in a single motion. Then throw it, and it damages fatality and posture. 
chore. I think it was, I have to hit Y. There's Shinobi tools that can be equipped in the equipment menu and using one consumes spirit emblems. I don't know what the fuck a spirit emblem is, but good to know. Spirit emblems are required to activate prosthetic tools and are consumed each time abilities are used. Spirit emblems can be obtained from defeating enemies in the world and purchased from sculptor's idols or off of the market for $50. If you pass near them, they will find your way to you. How do I use it? Oh. I see. So there's not leveling, but you fit prosthetics and then use money to support those items. Buy a couple then. Five should do. I don't know how effective the shuriken in it is at killing, so I'm going to try and use them sparsely. It doesn't seem like these are in order. Which is why I keep getting confused. Like, Ashina was after this, but it's above. But then this is the newest one, which is below. Whatever. I guess you're supposed to hit that other one first, but I did it out of order. There actually is leveling in the top right. There are skill trees in the game if you wanted to know. I don't see anything in my top right now, but... Oh, there is that bar. I have to keep my eye on that. Hey, Def. up next to us. I'd rather not be gravely injured just before the war begins. Nah, if the worst happens, only choice is to use fire. Those red eyes fear fire. That's what the Lord's proclamation said. Proclamations? What a joke. Ashina sure has a funny way of preparing for war. Trying to bait him over here, but I keep breaking all my ceramics. This is not working. Pocket sand! Come a little closer. Can't you see? Come on, come on, come on. Oh god, I hate how patient the AI is. There's nothing I hate more in a game than an AI that just stands there waiting with its shield up. Come on. I don't know how to break it. Best to do.
I know about the yellow bar thing. It's just, I don't know if I'm supposed to just fucking hit them until it goes down. But then they're going to counter me. Okay. Uh, Gravitox cannot be deflected. There's no way to avoid. They can be evaded with a dodge. I was spamming. for this dude to move. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Uh. It's fair. I make that but to find out nope Question is, can I get up to this dude without pissing him off? Something tells me no. So what if I just rushed at him and wailed on him while he was still tied up? I'm gonna use boost attack power. There's another dude. Ain't the time, bro. Ain't the time. I forgot the second life thing. I was gonna be him. That's good to know. Oh. Oh no. Check this out. Don't check this out. Fuck. I, for, I, I keep forgetting the, the two health bar thing. I got, I was gonna start deep. <laughs> uh, okay, start over. I used my fucking Echo Sugar, which means I can't do hella damage anymore. But I can bust these dudes down fast.
So does this count as a boss fight technically? Or is this like mini boss? Fuck. I don't even think this defense thing is helping. boss well i just haven't seen a full boss yet so i don't know if those were mini bosses i they could have been full bosses and i just didn't know why i asked I know I can technically parry his non-danger attacks, but I'm just trying not to act. I'm just trying to dodge, you know? You know what? I should kill that other dude first. Actually, no. It's, I get a lot more damage out this way. That right there. I'm gonna try and parry. Wait, can I grapple him? I don't think so. I'm gonna try and parry even if I die. So I can, but... It doesn't really... Okay, alright, alright. Jeez Louise. Oh, I don't take any damage. But damn, he's got so many different attacks. There's so much of learning. I did, uh, uh, I keep seeing the grapple icon, but I, I wasn't using it. I got the grandma bell. Are you referring to the shuriken? I haven't used it, but honestly, it would help. Oh, not that way. God damn it. Not that fucking way. I go up there, it's gonna aggro him earlier, and I'm not gonna get as many hits. Come on! Is there any way to get him to come down here and stop being a bitch? Whatever. Fuck this. Maybe he'll kill him for me. Or maybe I gotta do it myself. Shuriken would have helped. Uh oh, I was hoping he would go off the edge. Can I get him to like hop off the edge? Come on. 
It's a little further, buddy. It's a little further. Just Come on, do the jump. Come on, buddy. I know you wanna. Go for a dive. I don't think he can go off. It really seems like he's like stuck. I don't think I can go off either. <laughs> Never mind. Win some, lose some, eh? God, I love combat. It'd be easier that way. I don't understand what the punishment for a resurrection is. I, I, I've been told that it makes people sicker, but it didn't tell me that until I had died for real, so I don't know if the actual deaths makes them sicker. I don't know. It's, I feel like either I misinterpreted something or something was not clearly explained. So reliant on my dodges. Oh, that it's so slow. Every resurrection makes them sick. I mean, I believe you. I just don't understand why it didn't tell me after I had done it like ten times. Like, I'm, I, I'm at the point where I just assumed that was a part of the game. It seemed to make a pretty big deal out of it. I got a whole bar for it. I don't even know what the sickness does. Can they die or do they just cough a lot? I don't really care if they die. Good challenge, but damn, is it stressful. Plus, you can't attack immediately after the grapple. There's like a delay where you have to hit the ground first. I keep thinking I grapple them and then that turns into a combo where I slam in the back of the, the back or something, but it doesn't do anything. So it gets me closer to him. Right here. I should be able to attack his back, right? But you can't. It's always the dive. It's always the dive. I don't want to rely too much on respawns. It's just I feel like with this dude, I need it. I tried using the shuriken before and it didn't I feel like it didn't do anything. I feel like I 
be able to grapple them while I'm standing and they're just standing there with their shield up. Grapple them and wrap them up. I went to the sculptor before, but he didn't have anything referring to the bell, so I just didn't assume it was usable. It seems like this game does that a lot, where it introduces stuff, but after when it should have. So that bell I got, that it told me to go to him, and it didn't give me an option. I guess I go look again. Nope, I tried to carry. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just, I've given up. You didn't have the bell? I literally went to him right before I came here and I had the bell. And all he had was the shuriken option. So I don't know what you're talking about. That's literally how I got the shuriken, by talking to the sculptor. Go here. Unless it's a different dude and I gotta mix it up. That temple dude was it? Scrub, I literally don't know what you're talking about. I straight up came to this dude. What are you doing? Hmm? I get what you're saying, oh, but you're I factually didn't wrong. You were here. The sculptor has been coughing blood. I took a sample of this blood for my dragon rot research. Yes, blood that he's coughed up. The color of the blood itself appears to be tainted, stagnant, but. The sculptor's blood alone isn't enough to reach any conclusions. Is there anything I can do? Yes. Check the VOD, Shrub. Samples of blood Literally check the VOD. By others that suffer from the dragon rot. If I have more, I'll be able to learn more about the disease. If I come across anyone afflicted by the dragon rot, I'll ask them. Thank you. All of you are. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh oh, my bad, bud. You're but... here too. It's so busy here today. Yeah, see, Shinobi prosthetic. That ain't the bell. What I do. Thus is the will understand. So, nothing about the bell. <laughs> nothing at all. If one finds themselves the owner, offering it to Buddha on their behalf is courtesy. The sculptor can advise on how. <laughs> sculptor, how do I present bell to Buddha? No options. No options. Okay. Guess I won't. I don't know what more evidence you need, Shrub. I just talked to him and he didn't give me the option. And I have the bell. Which further validates the fact that I talked him before and I didn't have the option. You must be able to like grapple up there, right? To, like get around? I can't tell if like, this is actually, like, scalable. The 
that's like the one problem I'm having with this game. I never know where I can and can't go. Okay, I guess I can't. I have a grapple. I don't have like an uh, upgrade to it if that's what I need. What's the point of this? I don't- what's the point of this area? It looks like it's supposed to lead somewhere. doesn't count I didn't Someone clip that. I want to see that again later. I need to wrap my head around what the fuck just happened. Fuck you. Ah! Fuck. Wait, what? I didn't read that. I'm getting way too button happy. I'm just spamming my buttons. Nah. I ain't resin that. a lot faster than last time. For the record, there is like a single pole <laughs> preventing me from dodging down the cliff. Mm. 
this dude right here is what makes this so tedious. I don't even care having to fight the dude over and over. It's this guy right here that makes it so awful. Check this out. Pow. Pow again. Pow a third time. I'd wasted a lot. There must be a combo. It looks so obvious. Like you grapple them, but then you don't do anything with it. You literally just come close. change up on my strategy. There's a skill later on where you can follow up. I feel like I should be able to from the start. Why even give me the grapple? Like, I, there's, n ver there's literally no benefit to doing that grapple right now over just running at him. If anything, I get less attacks in. I was doing a lot better before. I'm just going to try and do it the way I did at the start. Play this one extra careful. Oh, 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 oh. Actually, I'm curious. Can he attack me if I'm like right here? No. Uh, I was wondering if I could like cheese it. that right there I get the game forces you to deflect instead of dodge but it's really easy to get complacent and not do it especially because you never know what attack he's gonna do I have like no items that'll help me. The ceramic shard doesn't even do shit. And the the iframes on that is so specific. I feel like I'm perfectly timing it and it's not. Uh, come up here, I'm, I'm not fighting you on the stairs. Acquire skills, a latent skill that increases the healing. Okay, so I just unlocked skill unlocks. Chump. I also picked up an item before, but I didn't really have time to look. A balloon filled with fountainhead water 
gives blessing of wealth. If one pops the balloon open and prays, those its water splashes upon will acquire more coin. Okay. Temporary money increase. Good to know. I can say, I think once I get really into the crux of this game's combat, I'm going to like it more than Dark Souls. However, I think if you're comparing the start, the starting combat, I like Dark Souls a lot more. I like what this game could be and probably will become later, but right now it feels like they strip away all of the logical combat maneuvers. Like, you can grapple enemies, but you can't actually attack while you're grappling. You have to get that as a skill. But that doesn't... That's so stupid. I should have a basic attack with the grapple from the start. I need to heal. I need a fucking bonfire. Should I run back? I feel like I should run back to the previous bonfire. I'm gonna do it. Actually, no, I don't even fucking need to do it. Go to the temple with the sculptor on the left wall. On the inside is a statue of Buddha. Offer the bell. Okay. I guess because I had resurrected so much, it like corrupted his brain and he couldn't help me anymore. Well, I didn't have to talk to him, I just... he helped. I need four prayer beads, but I only have one. weird how the bell's description tells you to go ask him for help. But then there's a scenario where he just doesn't help you. Close your eyes. Or unless Keep I like miss something, but I to you. tried to cover my bases. Bell's chime will stir your thoughts and awaken old memories from their slumber. I don't feel like it's my fault that the game breaks if you are bad. I'm not saying, like, I shouldn't be bad. I'm just saying I don't feel like it's my fault the game breaks because I'm so bad. You know? I went to the sculptor after the Undying guy. I was making rounds around it because I wanted to learn the area. I talked to her, then I went to the Undying guy, and then I went to the sculptor. I literally said, during the Undying guy fight, I'm not looking for the sculptor. I know where he is. I'm looking at the other stuff right now. Nothing? Nowhere to go? What the fuck is this area? For what purpose?
Okay, he doesn't respawn. Good. I figured I could explore that area. I just like, couldn't see anything to do. I, didn't, I was looking for grappling points or somewhere to jump, but I didn't see anything. I just figured I'd come back here and finish this area first. stuck on him. I beat him. There's just an area after him. Well, I would parry, but you won't attack, so this is kind of the only option I have. If you ever counterattack, maybe this could go a little differently. Maybe if I waited and didn't spam me with attack. No, that can't be it. Oh man. If I could take 2v1. I don't even know how I'm supposed to stealth around here. There's nowhere to hide. Thanks, Reb. Thank you for teaching me about mid-air grappling hooks three hours into the game. Would have never figured that one out. Oh, it's an enemy! Good during... no. I think I will not aggress him this time. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I was trying to jump on him. I wanted to pet him. Idea. 
sure it'll work. I feel like I can stand on him. I feel like I gotta, while he's not looking, jump on his head and then he'll bring me to the other area. But I can't get him at an angle. Can't find that angle. Thinking when he looks down there. Wait, what? Oh, uh, he like went back for a second. Oh, uh, I thought it was a better angle. Buddy. That looked like a chance, but I didn't want to risk it. Thanks, bro. I don't think this has fall damage. Don't fight the snake, do the bell shit and progress. Oh, I'm sorry, do you want you want the controller? Would you like to play instead? Since you seem to have a plan laid out for me. Check this out. Four, three, two, one. I'm getting on that snake! Baited. I had you all fooled. Oh. I'm here now. Oh. Okay, I'm here now. I'm alive. Shrub. You can play your own game. You want to play it that way? That's fine. Then go pick up a copy and play it that way. I'm going to do this. If I wasn't supposed to be doing this area this early, they wouldn't let me come here. You cannot double jump. You can jump off walls. 
but not midair. I can't really get a good angle on him. Oh, come on! Oh, Jesus. Thought I could hide. Not over yet, boys. It's over. It's over yet. Howdy. Just, uh, lasso in the Alaskan bullworm. You know how it be. I think this is an albino Alaskan bullworm. It's pretty monochrome. Wonder how many people are in his chat telling him how to play. If it scales with the viewership, then I feel bad for him. Do snakes have dicks? Like an, an internal dick? Hi. <laughs> this seems excessive. I won't lie, this is definitely me when I'm murdering a giant snake. done with it? Was that the whole thing? Okay. I feel like I missed an item in there. There's another walkway. I wonder if I can go back. Doesn't seem like pushing people off edges is as viable of a strategy anymore. Because if this was Dark Souls, I'd be abusing the hell out of that. Oh, wait. Rest. Nope. Game's loud. Like that for everyone?
He startled me. And now he's dead. <laughs> I assume you mean it gets loud. Like, just sometimes. Stop fucking introducing me to new tutorials as I'm trying to adjust my settings. I'll turn it down a little bit. Kokage. All it took was a bit of gunpowder. He startled me. You know what? I think you're gonna see your horse pretty soon, buddy. Could feed the horse to the snake. We might have a good crop season. Answer to if snake has dick. A hemipenis, plural hemipenis, is one pair of intromitant organs of male squamates, snakes, lizards, and worm lizards. Hemipenes are usually held introverted or inverted within the body and everted for reproduction via erectile tissue. Do you think King Gizzard has a intromitant penis? I wish I had an inverted penis. Wait, I think that's just a vagina. Never mind. A foldable penis. <laughs> Is your big old flopping dick it's difficult to travel with? Need a travel size one? I don't even know what satisfactory is. But you're coming on to me. Wait. Don't you hate when you need a second carry-on bag for your penis? It's the worst! Infinifactory and Factorio had a baby? I know a bit of Factorio. I gotta do my research on that. Let me just take you up on that offer. So that's what a fanny pack's for. No, no, no. I think you have it mixed up. Fanny packs are for holding all the condoms that you're gonna need while you're tailing that much pussy. My name oh my goodness, Ganon! As I breathe, you will not pass the so I guess this is a fight now. Yeah, I'm definitely not capable of climbing this. There's just nothing to get a grip on. There's just nothing. You know, I would if I could, but there's just no chance. Maybe if I had a grapple that could, like, climb up there? But I just don't have anything. Take my time with this. I hit the wrong button. I was trying to do a Dark Souls light attack. Oh man. This dude's insane! Do I want to resurrect? Yeah, I'm gonna resurrect. Okay. Guess I won't attack. Sorry guys, I haven't unlocked the ability to swing my sword midair, so I'm just not gonna do damage. Oh, 
I was gonna pocket sand him. I really did chug that not alive sauce. Well, that was interesting. It's interesting how my grapple just ceased to work after that boss fight started. It's almost like they're trying to curate my experience for me. But no developer would ever do that. I believe the ads on Twitch are now integrated into the video feed, making them really difficult to circumvent. I went, I like rummaged through all of my partner settings, trying to find a way to manually turn it off for my own stream, but there's no option, unfortunately. If uBlock manages to come out with some way to do it, I fully welcome people doing that. I think. Video integrated ads are bullshit. I mean... Not bullshit, like logically I understand why. I just think it's kind of dumb that me as a streamer, I can't turn it off. I should be able to like decide whether or not ads are... Uh... Blockable. I'm trying to see if there's a way like out of this area without fighting Mr. Samurai. I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet. Or spear. Or arrow. So does someone want to explain where the hell he came from? Because I'm at a loss. Where are you going? It's so difficult because he's on the horse, so the, the lock-on is super finicky. So it means if you grapple at him, for one, you can't grapple attack, and when you land, you're gonna, he's gonna walk past you. No. I don't want to rot Sculptor's brain anymore by respawning. I can go back to, uh... I don't know about the snake, but what I can look at... Hirata... Hirata estate. I think that I could go somewhere here. It's not that mounted combat is, is bullshit, it's just I do not have anything in my arsenal. My arse. I don't have anything in my arse capable of combating that right now. So I'm not going to put myself in that position if I don't have to. The snake, I can figure out. It's a puzzle. That dude... That's a, that's a roadblock. That is a detour. I know there's a bridge. I'm just like looking around. Is it going to tell me my items every time I pick them up? Because I know what the ash is. I've played long enough. What year is it? What year? An odd question. Yes. The answer is yes. The year of the Dragon Spring Pilgrimage. The Dragon Spring Pilgrimage? There already were ads midstream. It's a special type of ad that's a part of the video. Old memory. Or like, I, I don't know how it works on the back end. It's just it a different form of mid-rolls. What happened? Thieves at Hirata Estate. That's annoying that it pops up that long. Hurry. The divine error. Oh yeah, this dude knows how to party. I want whatever he's got.
Anything of interest? Nay. Well, I'll dip. You'd figure From Software would have learned by now. Like, their players are gonna know what items do after they picked it up enough times. I don't need to see every time. I played Titanfall 2 on stream last stream, like two days ago, maybe three. If you mean like, will I play it again? Probably. I played through the entire campaign in some multiplayer though, like last stream. You want to know the weirdest thing about this game? In Dark Souls, the human characters are already the always the hardest. So coming to this game where humans are just schmucks feels weird, man. I, I keep seeing this and thinking it's a bonfire. They didn't do that for the items in the previous games. I don't know what you're talking about. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying it's been this long you figure they would have learned, but they haven't. I'm not saying they knew better. I'm saying you'd figure they would. Whoops. Oh, it's just like dogs in Dark Souls. A bitch to fight. Good to know. At least they die faster. I'm gonna kill that fish. I'm gonna do it. Uh oh. He ran. Never mind. Fuck. Got it. I don't think you're allowed to kill Koi. It's like illegal. Which game looks better visually, DMC5 or Sekiro? I can't tell him at 260p. So far? I'd say DMC5. But it's also, I feel like this game is way more ambitious with the scope. So that's not necessarily fair. But visually, I think DMC5's got the edge. We gotta also remember, like, the levels of DMC5 are much more linear. Linear. Lin liner. Which means that there's a lot less they have to make pretty. Whereas with this, it's a whole... Every... It's... 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 Virtually an open world. I mean, it's not technically, but it may as well be, you know? Especially with this. Out of all the souls... Horns. Very open. Skill unlocked. Unleash attacks on a flowing dance-like form overwhelming enemies. If I get three more of these. If I get three more, I get a new skill. I'm gonna do it. 
question is... I assume they don't respawn, so I'm gonna have to, like, individually hunt each one. I have an idea. No, that doesn't work. Fuck. Shut up, Barrel Man. I'm trying. I thought I would do more damage. Oh my goodness. Fuck, I jumped. I jumped. It's so finicky. I'm enjoying the game. Wait, what he saw? Really? Oh yeah. Yeah, but the seeing other players in DMC5 was such a nothing burger of a feature. For those that don't know, in DMC5, uh, you can play online and see other players playing as different characters on the same map. Just like in the skybox almost, like in the distance. But you never interact. You never get close. You're always out of the same play area. Except for like maybe one or two like stages. It like there's no purpose to it. I feel like that would have been a really cool feature to expand on. Having maybe more like areas where you interact directly. There was another fish around here. I saw him. I'm trying to get to the top of the waterfall, but I don't know how. I mean, it's cool. I'm glad the feature's there. I just wish they would have done more with it. Perhaps they will add something that makes better use of it in the future. I mean, I get it. Like, I don't think they went into DMC5 thinking we gotta have extensive multiplayer. I think while making it, they were just like, hey... The engine can support this, right? So let's just throw it in. It'll be a cute, almost Easter egg. Like, I'm willing to believe that you play through the game and you just incidentally can't interact. I just, you know, would have been nice if there was one or two where you kind of do. Oh, hey. They went fully for multiplayer and not just co-op that would lower the quality of the game I don't think it should have been a fully multiplayer game I just think like there's you know throw in one or two levels where you're on the same playing field running through a stage as opposed to always disconnect it just have one stage built around it and it would kind of make 
It would sort of bring justification for the feature a bit more, I feel like, you know? And I don't really count the, uh, the boss fight areas. Like the, like the big falling rock where you're in a... Like, oh, you're fighting waves of enemies together. That's not really what I was thinking. And again, I, I was fine with it being a fully single-player game. It's not like I even needed any features. My thought process was just, if you're gonna have it... May as well, like... Use it right. I, I, I went through almost all of DMC5, not even understanding what the starring feature was. Like, I had to have someone tell me, Oh yeah, if you look across the river, you'll see someone. I had no idea what the feature was. For like, hours until someone pointed it out. And that's kind of what I'm saying. If it's a feature that... Most people don't even... Catch what it was. Weird. Hey. You taking a piss? Time to take a piss. Oh, I thought that was a dude. Oh man. These two tamed wolves, that's badass. This wolf's gonna find out. Check it out. No, that didn't work. Why are you on the roof? So much for stealth game. Oh, they can attack through walls. That's cool. I can't get out. They're blocking me in. I... To be fair, I shouldn't have walked in in the first place, but damn. What a mess. Must have been the wind. I think there's a dust storm coming through. The rain sounds like Chosuke. Oh wait, it collects like that far away? I thought you had to get real close. Alright. What? What? Where? How do they see me? Okay. Let's 
skills are per kill, but they're lost on death. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, this orchestra really likes their strings. Feel my spine tingling. Hey, you don't see anything. Just look away. Just look away, man. Just walk away. You want to keep your life here, right? Okay. I got nothing to grab. Like I don't. I don't have options. Is he gonna turn? Like, there's no other way in here. Except aggroing him. I can't. There's nothing I can throw that'll like. Go that far. All right, I'll work around it. Oh, oh. I hear that pan flute. <laughs> Oh, come on! Oh, I saw an inch of your ponytail and... Come out, thief! So much for that, eh? Buddies ain't here to back you up, though, so I'm not too stressed. Technically speaking, going bald would be beneficial for a stealth operation because you're more aerodynamic. It won't bristle in the wind making noise. It won't get caught on stuff. Maybe I should go bald. However, uh, you can't, you don't have any hair to use as a backup weapon, which is a negative. Won't be choking anyone out with hair strings, which I couldn't do anyways, because my hair is super thin. I got like female hair. Hey puppy, hi puppy. Also, yeah, bald dudes look suspicious. I don't know, have you ever played Hitman? It doesn't stop him. That seems fair to me. Definitely nothing around this corner. Just watch my dog die. Charlie's on the ground, not breathing. Probably fine. <laughs> Look at it burn. Oh, buddy, if your piss is burning, then you gotta see a doctor. What? Oh, this dude. I tell you, the AI in this game is so finicky sometimes. Most of the... Oh, come on. Why did you... Why... I was looking straight at the dog and I focused the dude behind me. Um... Third pardon.
Remember what I said about this game would play better with a higher FOV? That's why. I like how this dude's just getting fucking crunked while all of this goes down. He doesn't care. He ain't paid enough. I know you're enjoying your whiskey and wine, but I need as few enemies as possible. Wow. Not a single stagger. I'm not even gonna stealth this. Fuck you. streaming for honestly probably call it at the next uh, bonfire or whatever they're called then st stream early tomorrow maybe and I'm kind of just playing based off what I want to do how much of a faster pace is this compared to Bloodborne or DS3 I wouldn't say it's like double pace, but it's much faster. It doesn't feel particularly faster because you're not running into like big bosses or anything that often. But like you were progressing through areas much quicker, I found. But I think they kind of even it out by making the areas larger in this game. So in terms of how fast you're moving through the full game, it's probably around the same rate. But how fast you actually do it, like movement-wise, I think it's a lot faster. Deflecting is parry. This right here. I just haven't been using it that much because I'm dumb. Also, I didn't really need it. Try not to move. It'll make your wounds worse. Go. I'm gonna slaughter this family. How do I get inside? I'm getting inside of there. Whoop, ignore that. Shinobi. Yes. What good are you? You were nowhere to be seen when things went south. Wait, tell me you didn't lead them here yourself. The timing of their attack was perfect. Normally those bandits wouldn't have stood a chance. Yes. Yes, it had to be you. I hope you die, traitor. Bitch. Who are you? I'm not a thief. Uh, you, you're the young lord. Oh, thank goodness. Honorable Shinobi, those filthy bandits are after the young lord. They've already climbed the hill and set the estate on fire. It looked as if the young lord had no way to escape. I beg of you, Shinobi. Please rescue the young lord. I entrust this to you. I pray it is of help. Thank you. It won't be. Feels good to have about 20% health left. I have to hope nothing bad happens. Hey, open up. Open up or else. I can hear you whispering in there. If you don't surrender peaceably now, you're going to regret it later. Hey, can you hear me? Hey. Hi, chat. We burning this temple next, boss? No, leave it. Go on to the next one. 
but if there's any offerings, we could give them to Lord Juga. Enough! We don't take from Buddha. How many times do I have to tell you before it sinks into your sick skull? Please, don't get angry at me, boss. I'm sorry. So does everyone agree that Naruto ruined Japanese culture for us? Because every time I hear a name in this game, my first thought is, Oh, like Naruto. And then I remember, no, that's not right. It enriched it? You're, be you're using the word enriched a little liberally there. Must have been the wind. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I didn't see that follow up. Well, I got all of the eavesdropping I needed, so I think I could just rush through this. Okay. I don't even know where the hell I'm going. I just don't want to be in the first area again. What? I think he like threw sand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Naruto might have been my first anime. Either that or Pokemon. I hope it was Pokemon. I don't really remember. Actually, I think it, I think it was Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh was my second. Because I had a profound collection of cards. Of both Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon. Not well organized. They just shoved them all together. It wasn't Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z was one of my, the early ones. I'm gonna review this game. If I have something worthwhile to say about it. Kinda just trying to enjoy myself right now. I try not to go into games thinking whether or not I will review them. I just play it. Let it decide organically. You're, really? That doesn't get me up there? That's some bullshit. making progress at all. How did I get down here? Okay. I circled back somehow. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, while I was on my way here, I saw a three-story pagoda on top of some cliff. This guy's an eye patch. Fine patch. Patch. Really fine. I bet there's some patch. kind of treasure kept in there. <laughs> Got They're gonna patch That's this guy out. Well, okay. Small Buddha effigy bound in red cloth raised in prayer between one's palm to restore a node of resurrective power. So I get another respawn. I use it. Okay. Open up! Open up or else! I can hear you whispering in there! If you don't surrender peaceably now, you're gonna regret it later! Hey! Can you hear me? No, now that I think about it, if I kill this dude first, then the big guns are dealt with. The other dude will be easy. I did it backwards last time. Young Lord should still be somewhere within the estate. Honorable Shinobi, may the fortunes of in the estate. Uh, Try to just see if there's any important information I missed. Fuck what? Uh, steal from the shrine in front of the two guys talking about Buddha. You get a new weapon. I don't know what two guys were talking about Buddha. A lot of different sub villages. Curious. Is there like a mark for what's a shrine? Like the doorway? That? Really close? Yeah, that doesn't help. beating himself up. Oh. Well, that was all for nothing. I think I'm going to use this. There's two of them. Can I just like dip out of here? La -da 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 -da. Ah! It's a good thing that my body temporarily phases out of existence sometimes. That could have been bad.
A new axe. Used less for cutting and more for breaking things. Once the favored weapon... Okay. How do I change weapon? Is that like... The tool? No. It's not an item. Okay. Guess I'll just hold on to it. Go back to the... Shrine later and look. It's for the arm. Gotcha. Oh man, I got a lot of coins. Loads of money! Probably. I gotta aggro me, chickens. Chill. Chill. Ah, oh, there's nothing over here. I'm outie. Dude, they want blood. The chickens were herbivores. What the fuck? Ah, oh, they blocked me. I'm gonna kill that chicken. Need money? When are we getting another 24 hour stream? I'm not planning on it, but I'll let you know. Hey, bud. Also, thank you. What if I could, like, circumvent this somehow? Any other shrines that I can hit up for items? I don't really want to backtrack too much. It seems like I got everything on the way here. It spins a lot. Oh no! Wait, this is where I started? It circles around. Huh. Interesting. Well... Does it? I can't tell if this is like a, the other side of it or not. No, it is. It's the it's the start. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna call it there. I'm a little uh, low energy. I'm gonna call it a night on the stream, but I'll probably stream earlier tomorrow because I want to play more of this. But I got stuff I got to do. So, it's fun. Honestly. I mean, I think I might enjoy this more than I did Dark Souls 3. And Dark Souls 3 is, like, one of my the greatest games of all time. Well, that's up for debate in the Dark Souls community. I liked it a lot. So, I'll, I'm, I'm going to play a lot more. I'm going to try not and do, like, a hundred streams of this in a row. If I do more, it's probably going to be longer, and I'll do some stuff in between that isn't Sekiro, but first impressions are positive. I think once I unlock some more abilities, it'll be a lot more fun. It's a little frustrating right now, just because of the amount of, like, you can't do that because we don't want you to. 
I don't plan on finishing Bloodborne on stream because it was kind of depressing to stream last time I did I tried. I, I it was like I think Fib. I think you were like the one guy in chat when I was playing Bloodborne, and I love chatting with you, but it's a big time commitment. I'm definitely gonna finish this though. Because it's new and topical. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Probably a bit earlier. Maybe. Maybe like the. I don't know. Maybe like the 3 p.m. range. We'll see. That's it. I hope everyone has a good night. Later.